Let's measure neck flexion, manual muscle testing. So first, in order to allow your patient's head to move through more of the available range, I'm gonna put the head of the table down slightly. Okay, so then we'll passively move through the range. Now you're gonna go through that range. Okay, so you're at least a three. Put you in the mid-range of motion. Um, I'm gonna apply force to the forehead. Following our foundational stabilization concept, the edge of the table is gonna create a fulcrum just proximal to the joint, or joints in this case, that uh, the muscles cross, and that's gonna be on the opposite side because we're measuring the anterior uh, neck flexors. I also use my hand under her head so that when I do break her hold or if she's in any discomfort or having pain and she breaks into extension, I can catch her head and keep it from uh, bashing into the, the table here. Uh, some resources will say, will show resting your hand on the sternum, but we don't really feel that provides much in terms of stabilization. So I think our non-force application hand is better placed on the posterior aspect of the head. Uh, so hold your head right there. So I'm not supporting her head with my left hand. I'm just holding it there to catch when she breaks. So we'll slowly ramp up, hold, hold, hold. Okay. 